Hola, SAP developers. In this quick SAP Tech Bytes, we were going to see all the steps that are required in order for you to configure the connection between SAP Integration Suite Advanced Event Mesh and SAP Build Process Automation. We're going to go through every single step. So in Advanced Event Mesh, we're going to actually create a REST delivery point. Um, and then we will see events flowing from S4 HANA Cloud all the way to SAP Build Process Automation. SAP Build Process Automation will receive that event and will trigger our process. So we will see everything that's uh, required in order for you to enable this integration scenario. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so in a previous uh, SAP Tech Byte, we connected um, SAP S4 HANA Cloud to Advanced Event Mesh. Now, in this one, we're going to extend that scenario and we are actually going to connect from Advanced Event Mesh to SAP Build Process Automation. So we can see here the instructions on how to achieve that. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, like uh, it's missing a, a nice video like the one that I'm preparing in order for you to see how to actually uh, go through all the steps uh, in order to to be able to, to make this connection to SAP Build Process Automation. Okay, so uh, let's start with uh, what, what it tells us here. Uh, basically, uh, we've seen, for example, that we already have a, a cluster uh, in the previous uh, SAP Tech Byte, I will leave a link uh, on the description so that you can visit that one. But yeah, we, we already uh, managed to do this, uh, right? Which is basically some of the steps that are that are here on how to import this uh, client certificate. So number one is basically correct already. Now we need to create a consumer queue, okay? And subscribe to the topic uh, and that the queue that's going to be consuming the messages and will be basically every message that it gets delivered there will be pushed to SAP Build Process Automation. All right, so let's do that. So first, uh, we go to our broker. In this case, we're going to use the same broker that we used in the previous video. So we go to Manage and Queues. And um, here, we are going to create our queue. Okay, so we have queues, and we're going to create a new one, and we're just going to name it F4C BP Created SPPA. Okay, so that all the messages that are delivered here, that are basically accumulated here, will end up uh, uh, being uh, sent to build process automation. So let's add a, su a subscription here. So in the previous video, we noticed, for example, um, the topic where all messages are published. So I'm just going to copy that, right? Uh, and here, I'm going to paste it. Here, here I have it. So it is default, SAP, S4, HC. This, this will vary for you. But in the end, this last bit will be the same, basically, right? So let's create that. And you can see that I'm subscribed here. So for example, if I wanted another event, like the updated, uh, or change, uh, then here will, you will need to specify that change. Or you can end up uh, setting a wildcard here as well. But that will be enough for me, okay? So then, uh, the second step, it tells us to actually um, create a custom uh, REST delivery point, okay? So in Advanced Event Mesh, uh, we end up creating those uh, REST delivery points here in Clients. So we go to the broker, Clients, REST, as you can see here, and I have the uh, this button here that tells me REST delivery point. So we're just going to create one. And here I'm going to name it post uh, BP created um, to SBPA. Sorry, SBPA, okay? Create that. And now we're going to configure the different um, parts that, that are uh, that are included in the um, REST delivery point. We're not going to enable this, we're going to enable it uh, later. Okay, so apply this, and then we start by then creating a REST consumer. Okay, so let's go, uh, REST consumer, and here the consumer name, I'm just going to name it SBPA, is where we're going to send this, um, uh, the messages, okay? So my host, for example, in that case, will end up being, uh, these details that I need here are basically specified in the service key. So we need to, and here, for example, we need to authenticate uh, against um, uh, SAP Process Automation. So we're going to specify OAuth credentials here. So before that, uh, we need actually a service key. That service key, for example, I've already created here uh, in my sub account, uh, and and yeah, I defined the service key, and these details are basically what I need in order to configure over there. Okay, so make sure to create um, a service key for SAP Plus Automation, and uh, that's basically just an instance. Uh, the plan is standard, so remember that. But yeah, I already have these details, so I'm just going to proceed and create my 
my client here, okay? So my host, what will be my host? My host will end up being, um, it's specified in the endpoint uh, API. So I'm copying the, the value here. Um, you can see that it tells me that I basically need to drop uh, the protocol, okay? So I dropped the protocol there. The port is 443, I know that. I need to enable TLS. Um, I also need to specify now my client ID and client secret, okay? So those are also in my um, in my in my service key. So here I'm copying uh, my endpoint URL, which in this case is that. Uh, this is also specified in the um, service key. My client ID I copied from my from my service key as well. I just have the values on on the other screen, so I'm just copying them. Uh, paste that. That's it. Yeah. And then my client secret. Okay, so client secret here, I specify it here. Boom, boom. Correct. That should be that should be good to go. Now I here I think um, that the token expires every uh, 60 minutes. Um, so yeah, I'm just sending that to 3,600 and that should be it. Uh, here, I click the apply button and I've configured my REST uh, consumer. Now that REST consumer, I need to bind it to a particular queue. We can see here that it tells us that after doing that, we define our REST consumer and then we do a queue binding here, yeah. okay? So let's go and, uh, and uh, basically here, we're going to select the queue that we created previously. This one, SBPA, create that, and that's it. Uh, so here, it tells me the post request target. So in the REST consumer, we only configure the host bit of the URL. Here, we basically end up configuring the path where it's going to post that message, okay? So in this case, uh, with the API um, that's available in uh, SAP build process automation, it's just this internal um, slash PE slash B1 slash events, okay? Um, yeah, and that's it. We, we don't need to do anything else here. We apply this. But now in the queue binding, uh, we need to also specify some request headers. And the request header here, sorry, uh, you can see that it tells us that when we create this, we need to specify two request headers. One is content type, so this value here. Uh, so I'm going to copy that. And this web webhook request origin. Alrighty, so let's do that. So create two request headers. Um, oh, sorry, content type. Create. Save that. Apply. We need another request header, uh, which will be the webhook request origin. Okay, uh, request header name, that's it. And then create. And here, just the value of AM will do. So, cool. I have that ready. Uh, and now you can see if we go back to the summary of our REST delivery point, you can see that we have a number of components here, right? Everything is down. Don't worry about it. We're going to start enabling things. So now that we've configured the whole scenario, uh, we're going to enable uh, the REST consumer here, for example. Um, so edit this and hit enable, then apply. Uh, now that I've enabled this, I can go ahead and enable my uh the connector itself okay so here uh you can see uh i will enable it and then hit apply perfect so now basically whatever message uh advanced advantage receives uh in that particular topic that we configure for that queue it will end up being posted to uh, SAP build process automation okay uh so in build process automation i basically created a simple process uh, the one that you see here, uh, which gets triggered whenever it receives a BP created event. You can see that this is the structure that we are going to receive. And then I configure a very simple um, uh, form. And that form, all that it uh, will show us is basically the values there, right? So the event type, the time, and the business partner ID. That's it. Uh, I've deployed this, so it's ready for you to receive uh, messages. Uh, what will happen is that I will end up seeing it in my inbox. And you can see that, for example, in my inbox right now, there's nothing, okay? Uh, yeah, this is some previous uh, workflow. Uh, and now what I will do is that I will go to uh, S4HANA. I am in the business partner transaction, right? So maintain business partner, and I'm just going to create a new one, okay? So person, uh, and here I'm going to select uh, Mr. Yeah, Astor, 
um, we're going to select a, a country, doesn't really matter, we just hit save. And now this will trigger an event, okay? So we already did that configuration in the previous tech byte. So now if everything worked, then I should go to my inbox, refresh here, and I should have a new task. You can see it here, right? So this number, 846, is basically the person that we just created, right? 846, excellent. And we can see here that it was, that it's telling me, right? Uh, the details. So let's access that. You can see the event type, VP created, and it was just now, okay? This is UTC time, um, and this is my business partner ID. So if I go ahead and create a new one, uh, let's create another one, just, um, just for the fun of it, uh, Mrs. Miss Tanya Money. Cool, save that. And then it will create another message. You can see it here. Yeah. So we've configured uh, advanced event mesh and we can see how messages are basically flowing from S4 HANA triggering a business process. And uh, yeah, we can then proceed to, to complete our workflow here. Hit submit, that's it, test completed. Okay, and that's it. So I hope you find this video useful. Uh, we've seen all the steps uh, that is required in order for you to enable the communication between advanced event mesh and SAP build process automation. Uh, we configure a REST delivery point, a REST consumer, we did a queue binding, uh, in, in, we created a queue also, we added a subscription to that queue. So yeah, you know basically end to end what is required for you to um, send those, uh, those events that, uh, that are being received in advanced event mesh uh, to SAP build process automation. Um, yeah, I hope uh, you find it useful and that it simplifies how you end up uh, enabling the integration scenario.